Well, Stephen Hawking's main contribution to black holes was his theoretical discovery that black holes radiate. So previously the thought was that black holes are completely black, everything falls in, but what Stephen Hawking show, showed was using combining theories from quantum field theory, quantum mechanics, and general relativity, that a black hole would have a very, very slight radiation. And this is called Hawking radiation, which is a very important theoretical concept. Now, the problem was that radiation, I mean, the, the information would be swallowed by black holes. And Stephen Hawking originally had the view that the black holes, yes, they swallow information, and that's the expectation. And I believed that myself, and I thought he was correct. Later on, he, in a bet he had with some other people, he changed his mind and took the view that somehow information was not destroyed, and in this radiation, somehow it came out again. Now, I took the view that this was a mistake, and that he was right the first time. And I continued to disagree with him on this, so we had many arguments about this. Now, I'm not aware of the latest thing. Somebody told me that he changed his opinion back again. I'm not sure about that. But he certainly, in his later paper with other collaborators, uh, he was developing ideas that maybe things called soft hair and things like this, where maybe radiation could carry the information out again. My own view was that he was correct in his first analysis and that the information is destroyed in black holes and that this is important for the sort of cosmological scheme which I developed later.